Live from downtown New Haven in the News 8 studio, this is Lighting Up the Holidays. Sponsored by Connecticut Vascular Center, the Connecticut Lottery, and Q Gardens. Tis the season to rejoice with family, friends, and fun. Connecticut, it, ha it has its own sort of beauty to it and its own sort of majesty. It's From carriage rides through the city. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. To shopping on local street corners. I kind of feel like we have to carry on this tradition for people to come here. And sounds of the season with voices both young and old. It's is lighting up the holidays. Good evening and welcome to this special holiday edition of News 8. We have a great show for you tonight, including a lot of fun family activities being offered around the state, like gingerbread making classes, the Nutcracker Ballet, and even horse-drawn carriage rides. We're also taking a behind-the-scenes look at some new Christmas movies and a television show filmed here. Also, we can't forget about some of the best places to shop for gifts around Connecticut. Love that. Yeah. But first, let's kick things off with News 8's Ann Craig and Joe Fury, live on the New Haven Green, where the city's Christmas tree will be lit in just a little while. Take it away. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. It will truly feel like the holidays once we light up the New Haven Christmas tree. This is just an amazing evening. The electricity out here, everybody's having a great time. It feels really nice out here. It and feels so nice out here. We don't even need gloves or hat or scarves. No, I mean, this weather's no fantastic. And, you know, the only thing we're missing right now is a little snow. We could use a little snow. Well, not tonight. Yeah, uh, not tonight, <laughs> no. But, but it would make it a little more festive. And a lot of people dream of a white Christmas. So when are we going to see some snow? Well, Joe? you know what? we got a changing weather pattern coming up. So let's talk about, you know, what, what the probabilities are as far as white Christmases are across uh, the state of Connecticut. And you can see, obviously, you get up in the hills, you have a much a better chance that you're going to have a white Christmas. Much less of a chance as you get down towards the shoreline. But I will tell you, with this weather pattern that's setting up right now, and uh, yeah, the probability of a, of a white Christmas is greatly increasing even though it's so nice at the moment uh, as far as snowfall goes obviously the shoreline usually gets the least amount of snow 20 to 30 inches and then there are some places in the hills there you can see 70 plus inches uh, we do have a weather pattern that's changing now uh, we're looking for some much colder air to start to come down from the north uh, as we go on for the end of next week so this time next week Everything will start to change, the wind will start to blow, the temperature will drop, and there are signs of some snow in the forecast late next week. So, That's kind of exciting. Yeah, and I, everybody, you know, everybody we talk to talks about the fact, give me some snow for Christmas. You don't want it the rest of the season, but, right. but for Christmas season, it would be great. Well, I want to give people an idea of where we are on the New Haven Green, because the tree is right behind us. Of course, it's dark right now, so it might be a little tough to see, but take a look between Joe and I. Right there to the right of the flagpole is the Christmas tree. It's about 72 feet tall. We're going to light it up with 30,000 lights. That's going to happen just around 726, not to be too specific. And there's somebody out here who's having just a wonderful time. He's been out here for the last few hours. He's been going around uh, and meeting people and uh, having a ball. And uh, we're going to toss to our own Ryan Christopher right now. Ryan, where are you on the green and who do you got with you? Guys, we're having so much fun over here. We're Christmas caroling. We're having a good old time. And we actually made this handmade DIY Christmas sweater. So I hope you're wearing yours at home. These guys just won't stop singing. It's such a fun event tonight. All right, all right. How many people here, say, how many people have been coming here to the tree lighting for at least five years? Make some noise. How about 10 years? That's you, miss. As we like to say, it's lit over here. Tell, tell me what you like best about the tree lighting. Um, friends, family, and children, and everybody out enjoying themselves for the holidays. That's what it's really all about here. In New Haven, it's all about family fun, and that's what we're bringing you here tonight. So, Spider-Man, do, do you know what you want for Christmas? I want a Star Wars Nerf one for Christmas and a Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's what I wanted, the Nintendo Switch. All right, and we have a Yankee fan over here. High five. Go Yankees, go Yankees. Now, what are you guys most excited about for Christmas? I'm excited about Christmas because you get your family comes 
and you get presents and toys. We all love presents and toys, and it's all about the family, guys. Let's sing it back one more time to them back here in the studio. Here we go. Ha oh, okay. Jingle Bells. Okay. No, oh, no, which one? Let's do Have a Holly, the Holly Christmas. This is the best time <laughs> of the year. I am jealous of his sweater. Yeah, forget the I word. love that. Really? The DIY, he, DIY and the ornaments hanging off of it. He could make you one. I think he could. Yeah, I might try that. Yeah. Well, shopping is something we all end up doing this time of year, and we have some great spots in Connecticut. We really do. News 8, Sarah Cody live at the shops at Yale in New Haven with some special guests tonight. Sarah. Hey, happy holidays, guys. I'm here with Dave and Natasha representing the shops at Yale. Dave, this area is about to become a winter wonderland. Tell me about all the events on tap. Yes, we have a ton of free events. They're, they're all open to the public. Um, we have ice carving demonstrations, including one with Yale's Handsome Dan this Sunday from 1 to 3 right in front of Wave Gallery. We have uh, free horse and carriage rides this Sunday from noon to 4. Um, Pickup locations are on Chapel Street and Elm across from Gantt. We have um, laser light shows on Broadway Island across from Apple. And we have um, a $500 giveaway, uh, one per week for okay. five weeks. So there's a ton of things going on. It all sounds great. And I need to hear about the hot shops, the new shops, and the new restaurants. Yes, Patagonia New Haven just opened um, about a month ago on Broadway. Love Patagonia. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, yeah. awesome. I already bought a jacket. Yeah. Um, Dwell New Haven, uh, our newest gift shop, just opened about uh, two weeks ago. And Midpoint Istanbul, our newest restaurant uh, serving Mediterranean, yeah. modern Mediterranean, uh, right. open right behind Pacifica. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Natasha, what are the advantages for people to come down here and take advantage of all this? So, Sarah, we have free four hour parking at our three surfer, uh, surface parking lots. Uh, there's one on Chapel Street, York, and Broadway. You can enter to a chance to win one out of five $500 shopping and dining packages, as David mentioned. And we actually just uh, picked our first winner, so we have four more left. And then all our events are open and free to the public. And you know, it's the best way to get into the holiday spirit here. We have Yuletide carolers, we have outdoor performances, and we have beautiful stores decorated, um, as you can see. And then for more information, uh, you, as David mentioned, you can visit theshopsale.com to learn about our events and our free parking. All right, well, that's great. Coming up, we're going to have a performance from the Yale Alley Cats. Guys in the studio, back to you. All right, thanks so much. We have much more ahead, including the New Haven Ballet gearing up for the Nutcracker, of course, and a Connecticut artist being featured on a White House Christmas tree. Yeah, as we head to break tonight, our News 8 family sharing some of our favorite holiday traditions here in Connecticut, plus sounds from the great Trinity Church Choir. One tradition that brings back happy memories as a kid is we used to pile the family together in the car and go through the fantasy of lights. It was so much fun. And one tradition we continue as adults is the Saturday before Christmas each year is our family cookie baking day. It gets the ladies together and we make all kinds of cookies each year. A favorite of many during the holiday season is going to see the Nutcracker. The New Haven Ballet is gearing up for a big crowd. Remember that as a kid. Mm -hmm. And Craig got a chance to check out the rehearsal. Oh, to be a ballerina, Anne. I know, Ann, and it was so incredible to be there in the room as they were rehearsing and to be so up close because when ballet dancers go on point on their toes, they're dancing on wood. So to be in the room, it sounds like little reindeer hooves. Hitting the ground, and and you've never seen the I Nutcracker. Have, and I've heard you talk so much about what you witnessed, and I can't wait to go this year. I really have to do it. You have to do it, and it is a spectacular show, and it takes hours and hours of rehearsal to get the magic on the stage. The Nutcracker is a time-honored holiday tradition. The New Haven Ballet's performance features more than 200 dancers. 12-year-old Leah Trachin started ballet when she was just four. She's practically a veteran of the Nutcracker now, with a range of roles behind her. 
I was a reindeer, then I was a cherub, which is like in between, then I was an angel, then I was a cake decoration, and then I was party girl twice, then I was Clara, and now I'm a snow and fairy. But this is her first time to perform with the New Haven Ballet, Dancing on Point, an honor achieved when dancers turn 12. Point shoes, they're like wood at the very bottom, so you have to wear toe pads, and they kind of hurt, but not too much. But it's really fun to be on them because it's like completely different from being on flat, so it's kind of like relearning everything once you get to go on point. The family friendly classic is set to music by Tchaikovsky, transporting the audience to a magical dream world of dancing dolls, the land of snow, and fantasy land of sweets. To get performance ready, it takes more than two months of practice, dancing four days a week. It feels like really like a family atmosphere, like we're so close and we spend so much time together. So I feel like that really goes along with like the holidays and like spending time with your family. 16-year-old Catalina Bantiker says it doesn't feel like Christmas until she hits the stage. That's when the holiday magic truly sets in. I can't wait to just go out there and perform because it's just so like you know the adrenaline and it's just so fun to perform with your friends and to perform for everyone out there and your family and friends. And these young dancers hope you'll join them at the Schubert Theater in New Haven. Mark your calendars for a weekend of wonder. December 16th and 17th. Okay Joe, the show is December 16th and 17th so there's still time to get tickets. There's still tickets available to the evening and the afternoon shows so you can have some choices. And I remember my grandmother took me to see the Nutcracker when I was a girl. So even if you just see it once in your life, it really does make for great memories. And we've got a lot to see here on Channel 8 this evening. We've got our holiday special here and then the Charlie Brown special and then the magical world of Dizzy coming on. Yes, uh, it's so a full it's just night, a, a night. Christmas celebration. And the big holiday carnival here on the green in New Haven. And what? We're just maybe 10 minutes away from the tree lighting. It's a very, very exciting. So for now, Darren and Ann, we're going to send it back to you. Thank you so very much. The White House Christmas tree will glisten with a hint of Connecticut this year. Yeah, one of the ornaments on the tree designed by a local artist. News 8's Stephanie Simone has that story. What motivates pop surrealist artist Adam Chambers is almost as interesting as his work. I feel like whatever we do in life impacts everybody else. He paints for a living in New Haven and is losing his sight to a rare form of glaucoma. I'm losing my peripheral. That's why this father of four quit his job to pursue his passion. So that kind of motivated me to put things in a fresh perspective um, and, and made me realize, gosh, you know, I, I, if, I'm not, if I don't get serious about this now and really try to make something of it, then I'm, I may not have that opportunity in the future. When he's not painting, he's volunteering. That's part of the reason why the Connecticut Office of the Arts chose him to create the Connecticut ornament to hang in our nation's capital. It was a huge honor. Chambers got the call in early September and he had to put his brush to work. His inspiration, diversity. I wanted to kind of show our connectedness as people, you know, from all walks of life and all different backgrounds. This smaller one will hang in the White House. The bigger one is on the Connecticut tree. I picked um, 11 individuals throughout Connecticut history over the last probably two, three hundred years, so going way back who in their own way have each contributed to the cause of diversity and tolerance in society. That includes Harriet Beecher Stowe, heroes on the Amistad, and even some who are still living, like Dr. Karen Kangas. She is um, really a hero of mine. She's done a lot of advocacy work for mental health and uh, disability rights. He says the holidays are all about thinking of others, and that's what these people represent. Not only do they inspire him, but he hopes they will inspire others. In New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8. And speaking of our nation's capital, the 95th annual National Christmas Tree Lighting was held tonight. Take a look here. That's President Trump throwing the switch to lighting the tree at President's Park. It is one of America's oldest holiday traditions. And the Hallmark Channel will air a special on the lighting on Monday night that will include performances by the Beach Boys and the Texas Tenors. Well, you know, traditions are really so important this time of year. News 8 Sarah Cody takes us to the Hunt Hill Farm in New Milford to check out the silo cooking and the famous gingerbread houses. This is our gingerbread season. And Sarah, welcome. We're at the, the, the homestead of Ruth and Skitch Henderson back in the day when they had it. 
We had a big cooking school. He was part of the, um, the New York Pops. And he was actually Johnny Carson's show in the beginning. This is an old traditional recipe that Ruth has had in her cookbooks. So it's a nice architectural dough. You know, we have our main ingredients, which is um, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and good old baking soda and salt. These gingerbread classes are famous. They're beloved. They're from Dad because I do it. <laughs> You're the master of the I'm class. The ma yeah, I'm yeah. the master. It's a family tradition. People come year after year. They do. And it's like they, they make their houses bigger and better every year. Our actual dough then is good old margarine butter, molasses, and then the good old sugar and it all goes into our mixer okay and then we beat it up beat it up until we get this great dough i joke i said this is nancy's workshop <laughs> and nancy's work and you get the core and you get the upper arms yeah. we say it looks like a piece of leather yeah. you want no dimples okay. so now you take your template and you actually just go you trace around each, and this is how it looks, and how this is how it goes into the oven. So the first thing we do is the trees. Some people have barns. I get some of the kids that have open roofs, and they actually decorate inside. So let's go stand a house up. Okay. You always kind of look to see if there might be a little overhang or not hang. So I think we're going to call this the front. Here's our snowman. He's so cute. Let it snow. Let it snow. We're rushing the season, but why not? But it's just enough. It's just enough. What would Joe Fury think? Joe Fury's coming here and doing a class. <laughs> Listen to that, Joe. Yes, Joe. What do you think, Nancy? Are you proud of me? I think your kids will have a great time eating this house, and you know what? It's going to add that magical touch to your it. house. It's beautiful. Thank you Happy for coming. You too. Sarah Cody, News 8. You've taken a stab at that. It's tricky, right? I make a terrible house every year. I need to take a class, too. That's the place to go. Yeah. Uh, right there. If you want to take a gingerbread uh, class, house class, the Silo Cooking School still has availability on two upcoming Fridays. And still ahead, as we light up the holidays, the best Santa activities across the state. Also, we got more from the Trinity Church Choir as we head to break. My favorite Connecticut Christmas tradition is going to Jones Family Farm in Shelton and chopping down our own Christmas tree. We've been doing it with our family since they were babies and now toddlers. And to see my husband chop down the tree and the kids just cheer and get so excited and then putting it on top of the car and driving home with our tree and seeing all the other cars across Connecticut with trees on top, it warms my heart every year. I absolutely love it. You know, it sounds corny, but I really think there's something magical about Connecticut at the holidays. When you go to some of these little towns with the little white lights in the windows and on the light poles as you go through town, and maybe with a little snow thrown in, it really is beautiful. This time of year is magical, especially for the children. It really is. Here's a list of some of the best Santa activities going on in Connecticut. In Essex, hop on the North Pole Express for the Santa special until December the 23rd. Hartford's Winterfest is open on the weekends also until the 23rd. In East Haven, you can take a ride on Santa's trolley Winter Wonderland on weekends until December 17th. Have breakfast with Santa at Mystic Aquarium also until December 17th. And you can visit Santa's workshop at Wickham Park in Manchester until the 23rd. Another great part of the holidays, of course, is all the great holiday music. Let's head over to News 8 Sarah Cody, who's live with Yale's Stand famous Alley Cats. Hey guys, wait till you hear this. I have the distinct pleasure by being joined by an amazing a cappella group, Dale Alexat. Take it away.
Sarah, thanks very much. Crowds gathering on the green in New Haven right now, waiting to light the tree. My favorite part. Yeah. Let's head back out live to Ann Craig and Joe Fury. Darren and Ann, we are just minutes away from the tree right here on the New Haven green being lit up to signify the holiday season is truly here in the Elm City. The tree is right there behind us, so when it goes up in lights, we're going to get a great view, Joe. We are indeed, and that tree, uh, the little points in Brantford, it comes from them. Uh, it was a gift to them from their neighbor over 50 years ago. The LaPointe's grandsons are going to flip the switch this evening, and that tree has got over 30,000 lights on it. Yeah. What a special thing for that family to get to come out and do here I tonight. I mean, just to have your tree as the tree. I know, right? But then to see it go up in lights, it's a 75 foot tall Norway spruce. So once it's lit up, it's really going to be fantastic. And we're getting real close. And we are getting real close. We can hear the crowd and the anticipation there, rising there right we go. here. The All right. So, uh, it is so much fun down here, isn't it? It really is. And Joe, how lucky what? did we get for this great night? Here Two, we go. One. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Those 30,000 lights really are spectacular. Look at that. Oh. All kinds of colors. And there are hundreds of families. If you guys see behind us, you see little bumps like this? Each one of those bumps represents a head out here because all the families are around the tree right now. But I found a very special family from New Haven. I want to introduce you to the Damaris family, right? Come on in. Don't be shy. Get on over here because look, they brought their puppy out here and he's in a Santa Claus suit. Now, how does your dog feel about his Santa suit? He loves it. It keeps him pretty warm. Yes, it is perfect for tonight. And can we show the outfit a little bit? Buster. I mean, come on, guys. Does it get cuter than that? Now we're going to send you right on over to our fellow friend. Well, uh, yes, the dinner and in. Back to you guys. All right, guys. Thanks very much. The tree is lit in New Haven. Looks great. So cool now set. it's officially the holidays. It is the holidays. They have yes. begun. And right. coming up on this special holiday edition of News 8, a Connecticut author illustrates the magic of the season here in the Nutmeg State. Each year on Christmas Eve, we have our kids read Twas the Night Before Christmas, Right Before Bed. When we started this, they weren't old enough to read it themselves, and here we are 15 years later, and we have these two big teenage boys reading aloud with their younger sister. I think it's a great tradition. Look at that. <laughs> Welcome back to our News 8 special, Lighting Up the Holidays. The New Haven Christmas tree has been lit, and people are having a great time down on the green. There's also a Ferris wheel there this year. It's full blown party. Look yeah, it's an awesome, beautiful, beautiful tree. Right? Every yeah. year it's gorgeous. We're going to have a lot more from the green coming up in our next half hour. But first, though, let's head over to News 8's Sarah Cody, who is talking to us about a couple of historic Christmas shops. Sarah. Hi guys, now holiday buying can really take a sentimental turn when you head to a classic Christmas shop. Now these unique businesses have been creating magic for local families for years and years. Thank you for coming to visit us at the Pink Sleigh. Looking for something unique? 
perhaps an item from far away. This is where we have a lot of the European glass ornaments. Or right next door. We put the heart over the shoreline. That's nice. So it's like you're sending love from Connecticut. You'll surely find magic in this 150-year-old post and beam barn, which houses the pink sleigh, owned by Brett and Susan Haddad. We have had customers who have been coming here since the store opened, and I enjoy hearing their stories about when they first came and what they've collected over the years. Many folks visit this winter wonderland to add a precious item to an existing collection. It's really um, touching to hear people's stories and um, I love pe seeing people's reactions. From Westbrook to Wilton, home of the historical Christmas barn. It's the Lambert House. It was built almost 300 years ago and um, it was the first house built in Wilton. Everybody's happy, and if they're not happy when they come in, they're usually happy when they leave. Owners Jennifer and Gary Bean say visitors are often looking for an ornament that honors a special or humorous memory. The lady came in, and uh, her brother had given her s'mores that was still really hot. She put it in her mouth, and it burned the top of her When mouth. they were 12 years old. Yeah, when they were yeah. 12 years old. But she had to have a s'mores ornament, and we had them. This holiday village isn't just a display. It creates an opportunity to bond. This gives families a moment during the busy season. It does. You know, they stay home on a Saturday afternoon and put this together. And it's oh, fun. It can, it can take a week. From fresh inventory. This is our new bestseller at the Gnome Top. To nostalgia. Nothing says Christmas like a nutcracker. A trip to a classic Christmas shop means warmth during the chilliest season. I kind of feel like we have to carry on this tradition for people to come here. I just hope we put joy in their hearts. Now, the Beans and Wilton have owned their store for nine years. The Haddads at the Pink Sleigh have owned theirs for 23, and they say they'll be at it for many, many more. Now, I'm so excited to toss it over to my friend, Ryan Christopher, on the New Haven Green. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. I some pudding. I Does anybody really know what figgy pudding is? What is figgy pudding, miss? Do you know? I'm not sure. It looks like ginger. Is it gingerbread in it? it? It's figgy pudding. I actually bake some for all of our friends here in New Haven. Sir, would you like to try some of my figgy pudding? Yes. All right. Why don't yeah. you dig in there? I took a lot of time to bake this figgy pudding. Take a bite. What do you think? It's nasty. It's nasty. Come on, really? I spent a lot of time on that. I spent. It's made with ginger. Made with ginger. There you go. Very good. What, what's your name? Malachi. Are, are, are you excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited to chat with Channel 8? Yeah. Who's your favorite person on Channel 8? Gil Simmons. Gil Simmons. Oh, Gil man. Gil Simmons. Sorry to hear about that guy's back in the studio, but we still love you. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Shout you, out to Gil. Yeah, have you ever had figgy pudding? I know. I've sang it, but I, ha I have never had it. All right, I'll make it. Apparently, this up. according to that guy, I don't want it. Yeah, he didn't like it. No. The bucolic small town of Chester is so charming during the holidays. Karen B. Davis, a photographer, lives in the middle of that storybook village in a historic home, which was once a hotel. I love that town. Uh, from the perch overlooking town at that place she loves so much, uh, Davis decided to set off on a journey to take photos and put them into a book called Connecticut Christmas. <laughs> ago, Karen B. Davis set out to capture Connecticut during the holidays. She found Twilight was perfect. One such moment was in Essex, and it became the cover. I found we live in an extremely beautiful state. Litchfield County, I, I loved. I didn't realize how gorgeous that is, and timeless, still untouched in that area. Davis spent a lot of time in coastal towns, including New Haven, where she found its green to be remarkable. That was absolutely gorgeous. I loved the, the old green and some of the old architecture with the new architecture and that tree in the middle of it all. I just clicked away and did multiple exposures as the sun was coming down and twilight was coming up. I love that photograph. It's definitely magical here at Christmas time, particularly when it snows. I love the street lights.
and the reefs reflected off of that, all the colored lights in the windows or the white lights. Davis is known for her images of architecture, especially historic photos, which aligns with the place she calls home. This house was built roughly in 1830, and it's one of the first houses in Chester. It was built as a four-story hotel. And there was a dance floor on the fourth floor that was spring-loaded, and it was also a meeting house and a gathering place. And there were 16 bedrooms uh, where the people would sleep. There are paintings throughout the home done by her husband. Above the fireplace is one he did of their home in the wintertime. This was Davis's first holiday book, but she's thinking there could be more in this genre in Connecticut and perhaps all around New England. Gorgeous. It's beautiful, book. yeah. And the book was published by Globe Pequot, which is based in Guilford. All right, very neat. People are still out partying on the green in New Haven. So are Anne and Joe. All right, what are you up to, guys? Well, you guys, there's still a lot of excitement out here because we just lit up the tree moments ago. Look what at did that you guys back there. Think? All right, guys, what do you think? Fantastic. Awesome. 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 A lot of fun. And Santa but, you know, himself just, just showed up, too. Look at the colors there. I mean, you know what? We always talk about red for Christmas, but green. A lot of green in that a tree. I love green. it. I love it. And speaking of which, all right, there are a lot of people in the New Haven area of Irish descent. That's right. Many. For getting ready for Christmas. That's right. And News 8's Brian Spiros is one of the luckiest guys because he's just getting back from Ireland. He actually took a trip to Dublin and he's putting stories together for the upcoming Greater New Haven St. Patrick's Day Parade. Dublin and many surrounding areas began decorating weeks ago, Joe. Yes. Weeks ago. And people there will tell you the holiday season starts earlier each year, but the core focus, just like here, is all about family and tradition. We have what's known as the Irish diaspora. There are, for example, up to 50 million people of Irish extraction in North America. We have only 4.5 million people in the Republic of Ireland. So what happens at Christmas is they all come home. So you get a huge coming together of all the people who have emigrated over the various generations. Everyone still goes to either Mass on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. You spend the day with family. And and you guys, yes, some besides the tree lighting, perhaps the biggest event in the greater New Haven area, of course, is the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And News 8 is the proud sponsor of that parade. But of course, that's not coming up until March. Until March, but we look really, really forward to it. We'll that. have a lot of snowstorms, I'm imagining, before March gets here. We hope so. We need a little white in between. Well, you guys, Santa Claus himself is here. He's been spotted on the green, and people are hoping to get their wishes in. What do you want from Santa? I wish I had a playground inside my garden. A playground from Santa. Anna and Darren, back to you guys. So oh, adorable. I like that. All right. Looking for a fun way to help get you in the holiday spirit this year? How about a horse and carriage ride along the shoreline? That sounds nice, right? News 8's Alyssa Taglia takes us on a ride that is free throughout the month of December. It was almost like a bygone era. If you do what you love, you're not working. I get tired at the end of the day, but I'm doing what I love to do. For four decades now, Allegra Farm has been John Allegra's passion, catering to those who desire a quintessential fairy tale experience with a bygone era. So I do so many special things for so many people. Located on beautiful Lake Hayward in East Haddam, Allegra Farm offers scenic horse-drawn carriage rides, hay rides, and more. Traveling New England and the tri-state area for special events such as weddings, anniversaries, and proms. I like to, to make people's dreams come true. Not only does John Allegra help to make dreams come true, he also helps to get you in the holiday spirit. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a two-horse open sleigh. Allegra Farm takes you from this bustling century to a more tranquil time as you enjoy romantic rides bundled up under blankets with your loved ones, breathing in the crisp winter air. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. You can even catch your own horse and carriage rides right in the Elm City throughout the month of December. We're actually doing rides for the Yale shops around the Yale campus. Tourists are visiting New Haven, people out shopping in New Haven, they see us. Everybody comes running up and saying, well, how much is it? How much is it? And it's free. Alyssa Taglia, News 8. 
And it's free. And it's free. Free is great. How awesome and beautiful. Yeah, coming up here, the great Christmas light fight is coming to Connecticut. And that's not all. Hollywood is getting in on the action. We'll tell you about two new movies. Well, we have a couple of traditions in the Fury household. Number one, we go out every year to the silo, Hunt Hill Farm in New Milford, to make gingerbread houses with my four daughters and many of their cousins. And then, of course, the anticipation of getting out to Gear Farm in Griswold to cut down the perfect Christmas tree. We just cannot wait every year to do both those things. We've had traditions for years with our three daughters, but now this year, we've had our first grandbaby, a little boy. And so I'm thinking there's going to be a whole lot of new traditions at our house, and I can't wait to see what they are. Next week, the program, The Great Christmas Light Fight, returns for a fifth season here on News 8. And this year, a Connecticut family is decorating their home to the extreme in the hopes of winning the ultimate prize. News 8 photographer Tom Parent has a sneak peek behind the scenes and talks to the Amarante family from Dayville. I'm Wendy. I'm Joe. I'm Joy. I'm Alexis. And I'm Dan, Mr. Christmas Jr., and welcome to Amaranti's Winter Wonderland here in Dayville, Connecticut. Merry Christmas! Amaranti crew, we got a lot of work to do! Amaranti's Winter Wonderland started 11 years ago. We collect for three local charities right here in Wyndham County. My name is Daniel Amaranti, and we're at 8 Pratt Road in Dayville, Connecticut. It's the home of Amaranti's Winter Wonderland. My name is Alexis, and I'm Daniel's wife. This is a family-run display. We bring each other together, you know. This is a five-person job, and we do it for the community, not for selfish reasons. My name is Joy Amaranti, and I'm Daniel's sister. I love to do the Christmas lights because it really brings our family together, and we get to bond while we swing lights around trees and sing Christmas songs. I'm Joe, and I'm Dan's older brother. It's a lot of work, but it pays off seeing all the people excited. My name is Wendy Amaranti, and I'm the mom. It just makes me feel good to know that there are things that we can do to make other people happy. I don't see an end to this. It's <laughs> Each year it keeps growing and growing. Uh, I'm always having an idea in the back of my head what I can do for next year, so I can see this growing for many more years to come. I just love that. Mm -hmm. Tune in to see the Amarante compete for the $50,000 prize and the coveted Light Fight trophy on Monday night at 8 on News 8. You know who loves them? Whom? The Light Company <laughs> loves them. <laughs> yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, the holiday season is officially upon us now. One tradition in a lot of families is gathering around the TV watching Christmas movies together. News 8's Laura Hutchinson shows you some movies that were shot in Connecticut. Well, when I help the child find the perfect toy. Thank you. Creates a memory. Family Christmas oh, movies yes. make the season magical in many households. And this year, you may notice scenes from your own backyard. At least two Christmas movies were shot in Connecticut this year. A Very Merry Toy Store was filmed in New Britain. And Romance at Reindeer Lodge in North Haven. You'll see actress Beth Broderick in both of them. Connecticut, it, ha it has its own sort of beauty to it and its own sort of majesty. It's, it's a quiet place in a way, you know, it's very peaceful. I really enjoy being here. We got to go behind the scenes of Romance at Reindeer Lodge, which is filmed in a house on Ridge Road in North Haven. The house is for sale, but the sellers were happy to loan it out to the production company and watch them transform it using Christmas magic. It's exciting, uh, the fact that you're going to be able to recognize the house in the movie. They're not changing anything other than the Christmas decorations. So it's something that we're going to be able to cherish for a long time. We're not exactly deep in winter here in Connecticut just yet. So the production team had to bring a little creativity to block our fall leaves. And they brought a little fake snow with them. 
Then again, that's the magic of television. It's a kind of a fun challenge, you know, you get to take a place and if you walk just tight enough that you can't see off the edges, you can fool yourself, you're in a different season. You know what, Molly? It's your turn to ask the Christmas question. Romance at Reindeer Lodge was mostly filmed in the home, but you may recognize other locations. We are shooting at a, a town barn in Hamden. Uh, we're at Tweed Airport. We're here, and then we're um, at various small locations in Wallingford, North Haven, and Hamden. This movie will run on the Hallmark Channel December 17th. I'm Laura Hutchinson, News 8. What a beautiful house. Yeah, I like their movie decorations. It was nice for Christmas. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, the New Haven Greenie isn't the only place to catch some great lights this holiday season. Let's head back out live to Ann and Joe, who have more on the fantasy of lights. That's right, guys. We're so lucky because so many New Haven families and adorable kids are just hanging out with us out here at the New Haven Green. Hi, Terry. Are you having fun? The yes. lights, of yes. course, when we talk about great lights in our area, you got to talk about the fantasy of lights, right, Joe? Yeah, I have been out there already this year, so I got to see them, and it is just magnificent. Uh, they've got about 85% LED lights, 60 displays, and, and it's just an awesome, awesome thing to go to. That's right. Over 100,000 bulbs are out there. You just drive through. They even have these special 3D glasses that you can look at the lights, and it turns them into little gingerbread man that make that experience even more special. And tune in to News 8 every day at noon. 5 p.m. for your fantasy of lights forecast. Hey, can you guys say back to you, Ann and Darren? Back, back to, to you, Ann and Darren. We got it. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Coming up, we'll have more from the New Haven Green, including a special visit from Santa Claus. I wait all year for this time of the year. Some things I like: decorating, spending time with friends and family, but most of all, hoping Santa brings some snow. Thanksgiving really kicks off the holiday season for us. We always fry up a turkey. After the big meal, we watch a movie together. And then the next morning, we wake up and cut down our own Christmas tree. It's really our favorite time of the year. Really is a fun night out there on the New Haven Green. Oh, so fun, and the weather is perfect. Yeah. Let's check in one more time with Ann and Joe. Hey, and, yeah, the weather is perfect out it here. Is. It has just been fantastic out here this evening. What, and a, this what a guy, celebration! Of course, is the man of the evening and loving every minute of it. Santa, what do you think of the New Haven tree? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and you know what? Santa is going to be at the Connecticut Post Mall right through to Christmas. For more information, you can go to the Connecticut Post Mall website or on our News 8 and website. a message for all of you Merry Christmas. Now we're going to toss it over to Ryan That's Christopher. Fun. Ryan. Oh, ho, ho, it's actually Ryan Christopher Kringle. Merry Christmas. Have everybody been here? A nice boy and girl this year? Yes. You look a little naughty. No, I'm not. No, she's not. Okay, well, she's really into it tonight. We want to thank all of you for watching. We have to go back to the North Pole. Back to you guys. Santa. Goodbye. Come on, let's go. He looks a little skinny. Come <laughs> we got to feed Santa. Up, yeah. yeah. Uh, holiday shopping is, of course, in full swing, and it's even better with a little music. Sarah Cody is live at the shops at Yale with the Alley Cats. Sarah. <laughs> Hey guys, the Alley Cats will be performing December 9th on the Broadway Island outside of the Apple Store, but you get to hear a holiday mashup right now. So take it away, guys. Da, 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 da. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Now, since we no place to go, let it snow. Sing. Yeah, thanks for joining us for the special holiday edition of News 8. We'll leave you with one more song from the Trinity Church Choir. And if you'd like to listen to more of their 
beautiful songs, we have them on our website, WTNH.com. We'll see you back here tonight for News 8 at 10 and 11. We hope you have a great night. Good night.